Hey, Bobcats. Welcome to the Boca High Theater. So this is our house area and the seating. Let's go. <laughs> so um, have you ever heard of Urinetown? Well, the story of Urinetown starts in, not really Urinetown, but a small town, and it doesn't have any set specific time. And it is about a young man named Bobby, who basically um, leads a rebellion against a morally corrupt corporation. Um, what's really cool about this show is that it's actually so relatable in today's society with, you know, any, literally any corporation you can think of. So in this specific show, the people are forced to pay to use the bathroom. And in that, with that, um, the people rebel because why would they have to pay to use the bathroom just because of a water shortage? So um, I'm going to take you up to the set. So this setting is going to be public amenity number nine, which they refer to their amenities. Those are the bathrooms. So behind here is supposed to be the bathroom. And right now we have our sewer pipe. Um, so with that, this tunnel um, represents the people in their um, seat when they go into the secret hideout scenes and things like that. And to use, this is the set and it's staying on the stage the entire show. So we have to really, you know, move things around and use things as much as we can. So for example, the staircase will come off and detach at some points and this wall will move to reveal different parts of the set and the wall will turn to represent the UGC corporation. And that's like the biggest thing that we can do to represent different aspects of the show because we can't just be in one place the entire show, otherwise the scenes aren't changing. Okay. Let's go up to the set, guys. So this is the view that the actors get. <laughs> and right here is where Bobby Strong is taken right before some big events in Act 2. You'll have to come see the show to find that out. <laughs> so as you can see, we use so many different parts of other sets because as a high school drama program, we have to work with what we have and we can't buy all new lumber every single show. Um, so, we use, um, so we use some, that's from Company, our fall show this year. That's from our fall show last year, The Theory of Relativity. And all of these are just from different shows that we've done in the past years. So, and we do all of this with the help of our adult volunteers and um, a lot of the kids' help. Here are the exit stairs that the actors will use. And then these are the stairs that you guys will see during the show. Okay, guys, so these are the exit stairs, and I just want to kind of go over a little bit about. Um, what the backstage area is gonna look like, because I promise there is not this much light back here during the show. Um, we'll actually have basically pitch black in the wings. Um, and it's especially important for these stairs to have, we put glow tape on them so the actors can see where they're walking. And um, it's especially important because all of the actors will be, not all of them, but most of them will be wearing character heels or boots or literally any, you know, shoe you can think of that's hard to walk in. Um, so we make sure that the stairs aren't, don't have any like actor traps on them where one step is taller than the other. And we also make sure that there's plenty of support underneath, as you can see. And this is where the actors will be walking. Um, this will all be moved for the show and we'll have a backdrop in. Right now, uh, we're waiting on the backdrop to arrive. But, um, this is all gonna be covered, so you guys will not be able to see the actors crossing behind. Um, we're cutting some metal sheeting for that. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Um, that's our director. This is Nick Storr. Make sure to get to know her. <laughs> um, this is back here. This is our storage room, storage space, um, where we keep all of this stuff when it's not on stage. A um, little bit more, you can just see the back and all the supports for the actors. These stairs will also have glow tape on them. Um, and also, I will have my assistant stage managers who will be backstage calling cues for the actors being like, you need to go on stage, time for you to go on stage, you know, things like that. Um, they will have lights also on their stands so that it won't be completely dark and people can still see where they're going. Um, what else? So this is our prop table. We have one on either side. We actually have a rule that says you can't touch a prop unless it's yours or if you're the props team or props master because often we have some dangerous props or some props that should not be touched by other people because then they can get lost. Um, but in previous shows like The Drowsy Chaperone, we had a whip and the only person that was allowed to touch it was the actor using it. So things like that. Uh, also, we don't want actors sitting on the stairs during the performance because that's dangerous if somebody has an exit or an entrance and they trip on someone. That's not good. <laughs> so come this way. Um, something really cool about our theater program is um, we get so many involved kids with whether it be set, props. So if you guys are interested in any of that, come join the drama program because we do a lot of fun stuff around here. Oh my God, it's Bobby Strong. Come on, guys. <laughs> Hi there. So um, I'm with the Bobcats right now. So um, I want to know a little bit about your character. So what, 